Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing well out there. I'm doing pretty good. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. So today is technically still Monday for me, but the video will be put out on Tuesday, which will be tomorrow, which actually is today now. So hope you guys got that. Just got done doing the interview with uh, Dan over at Basement Guitar Superstar. Pretty good guy. Check him out. Um, he's got some pretty good review videos and stuff on his channel. And uh, yeah, I've kind of pushed him a little bit as far as, uh, you know, giving him some shout outs and stuff. So hopefully that's helping him out as far as more subs and likes and everything else, views on his channel. Pretty good interview. Kind of enjoyed it. A um, little bit of a flashback of my history and some of the things that I've done. But I noticed that a certain people had to kind of throw his little crying two cents into it with kind of like maybe, um, I don't know, his, not his approval as far as doing an interview with me in it. Um, yeah, I don't know. But that's not what this video is about. So a while back, I picked up a couple of guitars for my daughter. One of them being a very inexpensive acoustic guitar that she showed some interest in through school. And it's like, okay, well, maybe, you know, she wants to play a little bit. She likes the sound of an electric guitar, especially with distortion. All right. So I ended up picking her up a Jackson Randy Rhodes, well, it's an X-Series Rhodes RRX24, which was not such a very inexpensive guitar. And I ended up coming downstairs one day into the basement, and uh, I noticed that my daughter was playing uh, the acoustic guitar left-handed. So, today we have a little bit of an unboxing. So after talking with my daughter a little bit about, you know, the guitar and how she holds it and everything else, come to find out that they gave her a left-handed acoustic guitar at school, and that's what she's been kind of practicing with. So I ended up uh, picking her up. It's a left-handed guitar. Now, this company that makes this guitar here is kind of well known for more of its basses, seven strings and eight string guitars there seems to be a lot of more reviews on them than there is of a six string guitar by this company now this is a chinese guitar it's not a uh uh you know major brand name or anything so this is kind of an inexpensive guitar around the 200 dollars range okay so let's get an opening so we have a box within within a box kind of nice all right, so, yeah, so we got your normal goodie bag here with cheap patch cord and some tools. And we have the actual guitar sock itself, which is kind of nice. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Get rid of you. No push and pull. Uh, one, two, three, four, five piece neck. Basic tuners. This is a company called G-Style. It looks like a graphite nut. Oh, it's weird seeing one of these things left-handed no major damage anywhere no scratching still has the plastic over everything and peel that off oh come on ah can't get the plastic off Everything looks pretty good. Now this is this has got a veneer on it. This is not a actual cap, but it does look 
Does look really nice for a veneer. Hmm. Now I had some plans for this and the one that I saw on eBay um, was different than this one here. So I did have some plans that I was going to redo the top of this uh, into something that uh, my daughter likes. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore, especially the way this top looks. Out of tune. All right, so let me get everything off this bench over here and just have the guitar instead of the box. And I'll go through some of the specs on this thing. All right, so here is the listing for eBay on this guitar. Now you're looking at the right-handed. I have the left-handed. I cannot find a left-handed advertisement on eBay for the G-Styles electric guitar six-string. So you're looking at six-string electric guitar, maple neck, burl poplar top. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but a Okumo. Ok Okum, Okum body, which is a African hardwood. And uh, this total weight of this guitar is like six pounds. So it's um, not that heavy, but it's not that light either. So country of origin, you know, came from China. Now this says it's right-handed. I actually have the left-handed body material, the Okum body, again, being an African hardwood. Uh, veneer top is the burl poplar top maple neck now the neck is in uh five pieces so i don't know what the between the maple what that actually is as far as wood it doesn't say a composite ebony fretboard you know composite man-made probably mother of pearl inlays with brass circles offset reverse dots all right it's 24 fret and it's got a two-way adjustable truss rod, which is always nice. One volume, one tone, three-way switch. It says black uh, chrome hardware. It's basically just a gloss black. Six string, six pounds. All right. So what I want to do is I want to pop the back cover off on this thing next and take a look at what's under the hood. All right. So pretty much just a basic wiring here you have a two lead from the pickups you have a positive and negative you have a cheap box switch you have alpha you know alpha pots green cap really not much here to um, phone home about now this is a string through body and let's switch it over to the front of this thing all right, so this is a little bit of the top view with some better lighting on it. And I kind of like this. I really like this top a lot. It's got some pretty nice figuring in it. It's got a little bit of a swirling over here. And yeah, it's pretty nice. Now this has got what's called um, Bellcat pickups on there. They're labeled Bellcat on each one. If you ever looked them up before or noticed that some guitars, kind of like the inexpensive guitars, sound pretty good. Um, and you see the logo of the Bellcat on there. That's the reason why these pickups are not too bad at all for an inexpensive guitar or an inexpensive pickup themselves. You can actually buy these online and uh, there's a website can't remember what it was but they actually sell these guys and they sell pretty good so overall here's the guitar it's got a matching headstock although the headstock is a little bit lighter than the body is but that could be that could be the way that uh, the wood is too with the burst and everything but uh, yeah I wish the body had the same type of a burst as the headstock does a little bit lighter here I can probably do that myself but there was an idea I found something online and uh, they're actually skins for guitars so it, it, it's like a wrap okay but you're not wrapping the whole guitar it's basically just a piece that goes on the top of the guitar and it has uh, like a airbrush design or some type of design mom my, my kids into dragons and, and fire that's why this color here is not exactly fire but it's pretty close to it but she's into the dragon stuff and um, not like Dragon Ball Z or, or you know, whatever else, uh, Dun Dungeon and Dragons. She's into the actual creature. You know, she likes the way, you know, everything about them. And I found three different types of um, 
covers to actually put on top of the body and I was going to seal it in with the epoxy resin which is not going to be that big of a deal I can actually keep the edge around here if I cut it very very uh, if I cut it really precise I can still keep the burst and have that image on here but that ain't going to happen because and I don't care how much she argues with me about it this top is much nicer to leave it alone than to sit there and ruin it with a uh, you know some type of a, a dragon design you know unless I got something that wasn't so wasn't so nice anyways that's my story I'm sticking to it I did a little bit of an unboxing here and uh, yeah so this is another new one that I won't be playing because um, you know, even though I'm left-handed, I, I play right-handed. So, you guys take it easy, have a good one, and I'll catch up with you later.